No spiders were harmed in the making of this video. Today, I am going to talk about something that anyone who rides a mountain bike can probably relate to. Usually around late summer or early fall, at least if you live in the northeast, I am sure that you have encountered a spider web or 12 on your favorite trails. Many folks associate the presence of spider webs at this time of year with Halloween. Do you know why this is? Let me explain, because I just learned this myself after a little research. Most spiders reach maturity around this time of year, and with that, they are just out looking for a mate. Most of the year, they live a very introvert, reclusive lifestyle, but late summer and early fall is when they get out to play the field. To us mountain bikers, this can be frustrating and downright annoying at times, and even maybe cause you to freak out and crash. Don't get me wrong though, spiders are our friends. Well, sort of, because they eat a significant amount of mosquitoes and other pests. Most of the time they will avoid people at all costs. Something else you may not know is that spiders are really not insects. That's right, they are in the same class of arachnids as ticks, scorpions, and mites. I don't want to get too far off topic though, so I will include a link below if you want to know more about the fascinating things that separate the spiders from the insects. Out on the trails, spiders like to build their webs at precisely the right height of your chest, neck, and face, especially when you are positioned on a bike. From the spider's point of view, we ride at just the right height to go through and destroy the webs that they work so hard to build, especially when positioned on a bike. As far as I know, there is nothing you can buy to mount on a mountain bike to catch spider webs before they and the spiders end up somewhere on your body. Or, is there something we can make to do the job? They always say that necessity is the mother of invention, so let's see what ideas I can come up with from the ridiculous to the somewhat viable options. I will show a few prototypes that I put together. Please don't try any of these at home. These prototypes are not time proven and may cause injury. Without further delay, here's idea number one. I installed a windshield on the front of the bike. Although it seems to stop the spiders and spider webs from getting on my face and chest, it added some considerable weight to the front of the bike, and the clunkiness seemed to affect maneuverability a bit and it created a major distraction. Here's what it caught on the test run. And now number two. I installed a pull noodle to my handlebars, but the first thing that I noticed upon installation is the thing was just a little bit too erect, so I had to do something about it. I attached a ball to the end of my, um, noodle to add some weight, but this seemed to make it droop and wag uncontrollably, creating major distractions in a near crash situation. I must say on the test ride it did manage to catch a spider and a web. It just a buck, I really didn't have much to lose. I guess back to the drawing board though. Number three, I decided to remove the blue ball and cut the pull noodle from number two. Ah! I have two erect half noodles, which gave it a badass antenna-like appearance. Shortening definitely stopped the wagging, but the bright orange still seemed to create somewhat a distraction when going fast. It was also very lightweight and caught a lot of spider whips. And lastly, number four. I purchased some thin black nylon tubing and created a loop in the shape of a windshield and attached it to the handlebars. This was very lightweight, did not create much of a distraction because of its thin design, it was cheap, and on the test run it did very well at catching spiders and webs. So which of these do you think will do the job? Please leave your selections and remarks in the comments below. If you found this video entertaining and would like to see more, you may want to consider subscribing to this channel because I will be making a lot more videos like this in the future, and they are only going to get better. Subscribing is free, so you have nothing to lose. Click the bell to be notified on future uploads, click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you've done all that or none of that, it's quite alright. Happy Halloween, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.